BO4 Dynamics is data warehouse based solution, but users would not connect to a data warehouse. Users would connect to a business or semantic layer in a form of a tabular database. So there is another database which takes care about the roles and permissions and task calculations and translations and hierarchies. And what is most important, the database is in memory. So the querying will be very fast. Now there are three implementation options of the tabular model. Tabular model can be hosted in a local database. It can be hosted in Microsoft Azure or the database can be deployed to Power BI Premium. Let's see the differences, which one is the best for you. This is a BI for Dynamics architecture. Data are coming from Dynamics 365, Dynamics legacy system, and from any external source through Power BI Data Mart into a data warehouse. Here we are running 1000 store procedures and views to transform this raw data into some meaningful insights. Now, Users could, but do not connect with Power BI to Data Warehouse. Data Warehouse is a SQL database, so definitely users can connect. However, there is another business or cementing layer in the form of a tabular database, which is much more convenient for users to connect. 99% of transformation are still done in Data Warehouse, so tabular database is for users convenient. It is an in-memory database, and it is giving a fast request. So the tabular database is here for DAX expression, translations, and hierarchies. Not much compared to what you can do in data warehouse. So every table in data warehouse is pushed to a tabular database. It is highly compressed and then the users are browsing this data. Now tabular database can be hosted as uh, in a local service, local analysis services. It can be hosted in Azure analysis services and in, it can be also deployed and processed in Power BI Premium. From user perspective, where the users are, are connecting, it doesn't really matter. The content is the same. The user experience will be very similar, but from organizational perspective, it matters. Let's have a look. So this here is my data warehouse, where I am having all the tables and store procedures that are running the data warehouse transformation. And these data are then pushed to database. This is host tabular database. This is hosted also on my local computer. You can see the login here is a Windows login. But the same data can be pushed to Microsoft Azure, where I am logging as an uh, AAD user and the data here are going to have absolutely the same form as the data in the local database. Just let me know here, you can see. And the same data warehouse tables can be pushed, depends really on the options that we choose, into a Power BI service. See, there are different names in the connection string that we have here but the content from this perspective is the same, regardless whether we are connecting local, Azure, or in the power to the Power BI. The benefit of hosting the database locally is that you can use existing hardware and software. It may be a company policy that you are not allowed to publish any data to the cloud. The good thing is it can be used by unlimited user with a simple Windows credential. A not so good thing is that you need to manage and update it and what's also important, it's not scalable. So at some point, the 16 gigabyte limit of a standard SQL edition may not be enough, or your hardware needs to be upgraded. That's why there is an option to host that service in Azure. The service is paid per hour, and you can pause it when you're not using it, and it's going to serve unlimited users. The service has several tiers, which means the service is scalable and the whole service is managed by Microsoft. Now, handicap is that this is just a database. 
Well, if you compare it to the local database, that is absolutely the same, but it is just a database when you compare it to Power BI Premium. And here is the difference. Now, Power BI Premium is also scalable. It's managed by Microsoft, but the price for Power BI Premium per user is $20 per user. This can be a super great deal for users up to 50, even 100, up for organizations up to 50 or 100 users. And for a very large organization, it might be better to buy capacity. Now, the really good thing about Power BI Premium is that you're getting much more than that, just a database. And actually, the tabular database is just one of the features. It's listed as an XML endpoint of Power BI Premium, because Power BI Premium includes also the client part, the Power BI Pro functionality. The model here is 100 gigabyte, and it's available 24 seven. So clearly the service of my choice and choice of customer in the future will be Power BI Premium. However, because of the named criteria, you can just choose the one that you want. Our implementation is absolutely the same. We just choose A, B, or C implementation options. And also setting up permissions in all of these three environments is pretty much the same.